Uh, the 550 is still on my driveway, as you can see. Howdy doody everybody. I told you I was gonna get this out of my driveway after I finished the leaf springs, but uh, all the other things started cooking in my brain, you know. Um, I wanna get a couple more things done with this before I let it go and park it. So today we are gonna be putting in a pigeonhole or a coal chute or grain gate whatever you want to call it, uh, in the back tailgate. So this is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, this is called a coal chute in the business that I'm in, in asphalt. Um, but uh, if you're in farming, uh, like this one in particular, uh, if you're looking it up online, is called a grain gate. But they're used for basically skinning up the hole in your dump bed so you don't have to let your whole tailgate loose uh, and doing that and dump that way. Uh, comes in handy for somebody like me. I do small patchwork. Um, so uh, if I'm just, you know, trying to put my material into a smaller area, uh, they come in handy. So earlier in the year, I threw that other one on there uh, because I needed it for a job. So I just kind of threw it together real quick. So I got to put another one in the center of the bed um, or in the center of the tailgate, so I'm doing that today. Other things that I need to do, I just need to do a full service on this, filters, oil, fluids, um, check a couple things out, grease fittings and whatnot. Uh, so we'll uh, split this up into two videos. I'm going to do some fab on this one. Uh, I got to finish up that other one too, because like I said, I just threw it together. I didn't really uh, complete it, so... We're going to jump into that today, huh? Sound good. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can start this thing. Um, oh, that was the other video I need to make, is I need to replace the glow plugs. So I have the block heater plugged in at the moment, but it's only been plugged in for 45 minutes. Not sure if that's going to be enough to do this, but fingers crossed. Maybe I should be doing that project first. Really wanted to start this so I could move it over and away from the garage. Um, do you remember how close I got to the garage the last time? But I put the bed down. Let's just uh, tear into it. When this warms up enough, we'll start it up and and move where we need to okay so what we need to do here is mark out where we want our new door to go uh, i'll show you what i did here so with this one um, you could see i just cut a notch in into the tailgate here uh, and welded in a couple plates to give myself a nice flat surface um, what i was running into on this one and it'll be the same issue here Actually, even worse, I'll probably have to cut this off. Whatever that, I think they just kind of welded that in for support because they messed up the tailgate. But anyway, with this one, the issue I was coming into is when you lift up the gate, uh, this door ends up hitting up here. And I didn't want to cut this out and weld in plates like I did down here. It would just be too much work that it's worth. So I just kind of found a good, happy medium spot there. Uh, inside, if you are doing this, you want to make sure that you have, you know, obviously your door is above your bed floor. I kind of left myself about a eh, quarter inch, half inch ish, um, just uh, just so I made sure I had enough, you know, beef still here. Um, like I said, I didn't finish up. I got to patch this hole. This was all rotted out, so I cut out 
what was all rotten. Um, patch that together. This is all new here. This was rotted out. Um, so yeah, this is all we're going for, really. We'll do the same thing in the center. I'll measure out where I want this one to go. Like I said, I'll have to cut this out, this support here that they put in. Um, but we're going to put it right there. Okay, so I want to, I already have this one mounted because it's a little, uh, you know, this is how it comes. All flopping around. That's what she said. <laughs> you know. So, to be a little more precise, I'm going to see this one came out to uh, 10 and 5 eighths wide. So, I'm going to obviously put this one centered in this section. So, I got, what have I got? 23 and a half ish. So, half would be 11 and 3 quarter. Let's see where. 11 and 3 quarters there. That's just about right there. So, we're going to run with 11 and 3 quarter. We're going to give myself another mark. And I can eyeball that. That's about right there. Because um, we're cutting this whole section out. So now if that's 10 and 5 eighths, I'm going to mark centered. 10 and 5, 10 and a half would be 5 and a quarter. Give myself a math quiz today. So if I put 5 and a quarter up here, mark one end there. And then my 10 and 5 eighths over here. Let me think for a second. How do I want to do this? Of course, because it's been long enough where I don't remember how I did this one. That's great. And I'm probably going to cut this a little bit wide. Maybe, yeah, I did the same thing over there, like a quarter inch wide. So my opening is seven and a half. What's seven and a half divided by two? Math, 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 math. Three and a half, so three and three quarter. Three and three quarter. That's my one opening. Seven and a half is my other. This is the way that I like to do it. I know I'm not gonna be perfect with my markings here. Can you even see my markings? No, you really can't. Come in closer, let me show you. So this is what I got going on right now. I know that um, I took my dimensions off of this one because I need an opening for the structure of it in the bottom but then I need a door opening as well so I know my my overall opening is going to be 10 and 5 eighths but I added uh, about a quarter inch on each side so I make it wide enough because I got to account obviously for this material that I'm welding in here okay to give myself enough room to squeeze that sucker in there so that's the plan for now. You can always make it bigger. You can always cut more material off. But it's a little bit harder to add the material that you cut off. So just keep that in mind when you're doing stuff like this. You can always, you can always make another cut. It doesn't have to be perfect on the first cut. Let's see kind of rough outline here. That looks about right. Might even cut a little bit more off because I got to account for that plate on the sides. Maybe. We'll see. That's good for now. I could take you for a ride on my big green truck. I missed. Baby, if you'd rather take you for a ride on my big green tractor. There's something just terrible about sparks hitting the top of your head, especially when you got receding hairline concerns. Oh, it burns. I don't like it. Can you hear me on this thing? I got a new microphone. You see it? Stepping up in the world over here, but if the audio quality is crap, then I don't know what to tell you.
I'm trying my best over here, okay? I'm just, I'm trying my best. I gotta be kind of cautious on this because this is double plated and I don't want to go through the second plate on these edges because I'll kind of weaken the integrity. So I just want to just want to go through because this yeah so you can see this so this bar goes all the way down and it attaches into the back plate so I don't want to take that plate out. Should be pretty close there. So the plan is with this too, that I couldn't do with this side. So I ended up using an old chainsaw as my steel. Uh, fun fact, but this was all so rotted out over here that uh, I couldn't use this piece. But with this one, I should be able to just trim this up to size fold it down and throw it right in there. It's basically already cut to size. So that should be nifty. Look at all this rust. This is why living in Ohio is just something else. Oh, I got to get all this out of here. I mean, it is just scaling everywhere. Terrible. It's sad to see, especially, I mean, this is a work truck, so you know, whatever, I guess, but it just sucks seeing, you know, good tools just rot away, if you will, you know. Hey lady, trying to make a video over here, honey. Thank you for protecting this humble establishment, though. All right. That's good enough for what we're doing. I mean, we're not trying to make this thing perfect. Okay, I want to mark this out. So I only need it to be that wide, because again, I'm only cutting part of this back plate out. So, I'll butt that up. It looks like I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work over here. Kind of bent up. Can I understand what you're trying to Kind of bent up is what I was trying to say. Beauty. And I did, uh, Measure that again, and it looks like I am dead nut center, which is cool. I might need to mark this with my paint marker as well. So let's take this to the bench and cut this to size, and then we'll go from there. Uh, here's my fancy shop table I was just talking about. Why bring it in there when I can just do it right here? Okay, let's see how we did over here. Looks about right. Um, this is what I was talking about right here. It does look like I just need to, uh, I gotta pull this out, this dent here, and then I gotta tap this down. Just a little, a little warped just from getting beat up on, so let's do that. I'll be able to adjust that while I'm welding that up. I just want it to be close, you know? Close. All right, I think I'm gonna 
burn this piece in. That way it gives me a base to work off, and then I'll cut out these triangles. In the meantime, I'm going to take an intermission, and we are going to see if this thing will start. Once again, these fingers are crossed. What are your bets? Think it's going to start? I do. I think it will. Okay, there you have it. Hopefully we can make that a normal thing. Let's see if the blade plugs in. But yeah, ugh. smells good. Back to work. <clears throat> All right, let's get back to business. Let's get down to business. I want to, like I said, I want to burn this plate in. So I'm gonna clean up these edges with the old flat disc. And uh, then once we have that sturdy base, we can measure out everything from there. All right, I'm gonna switch over to this beefier grinder disc. Uh, clean this up a little bit, that'll give me a good surface to weld to. Looks like I'm gonna be welding to a little bit of rust, but for what this part of it is, I'm not too worried about it. We'll get it the best we can, you know? All right, let's see if I have enough hands to do this. Weasel this sucker in here. Go up slightly. There we go. And I can adjust from there. Tack. 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 I got quite the gap there, but we can bridge gaps, can't we? Just eyeballing it, I think I'm pretty good. Tack the back. That'll get us where we're going. All right, burn it in. I got some gaps to bridge here. So I'm just going in sections here. I'm just, you know, laying a little bead, jumping a, a little bit further ahead, laying another bead. Um, that way we can kind of get this thing all fit up and then when it's all in, then I can jump back and, uh, you know, fill the whole thing in. Does that make sense? Good. Onward and upward. I could have done a better job giving myself a better grounding spot, but hey, oh, I forgot. This one needs a little bit of motivation. It's a little bit bent. That's okay, we could do some body work, can't we? Can't we?
here's the thing. I could have gone through this, you know, I'll, and made it perfectly square and got everything perfect, but that's not the point of this project. I mean, I'm just throwing this thing in here. Same with this side. I just, I need it. I need it functional. I don't need it to be pretty and perfect, you know? The gate's got to open up and down. So if you want to do it right, then yeah, you know, clean up your, your cuts, make them nice and square. But that's just not the case with me. I mean, I'm, I'm reusing steel. That's, you saw how bad it's scaling. It's terrible. So onward. where we're going okay grab some cardboard we're gonna make a little template for these corners so I'm just gonna butt this up here just make it rough where it's got to be sure Continue on. <laughs> Gotta plug it in for it to work. Take two. You know it's just horrible when you gotta redo a cut that was two inches long. boiled egg <clears throat> this one turned out okay um, I'm just gonna repeat the other side so y'all don't need to see that same process get a little uh, actually I'll probably use this as a template cut me another one and we can tack these in and then I probably got to get going for the day because it's Valentine's Day today and I gotta take my sweetie to dinner so uh, we'll get these cut out, tacked up, and then we'll probably be calling it a wrap for the day. So let's get moving. Okay, <clears throat> that one's pretty much all ready to burn in. So we'll get that one done and then get the other one placed up there. That's pretty well, pretty well ready as well. And then we will be wrapped up for now. Why do I keep forgetting to plug these things in? Okay.
you where I'm going. Then I can put my safety equipment on like I should have had on before. Uh, not recommended. Just got a little impatient, I guess. Okay, not my best welds ever. I'm just done with the day. So I'm going to do what I would tell anyone to do, which is when you're done with the day, just continue on and keep welding so you make sure it really looks good. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to finish this up. That way it's just done. Again, not really worried about how it looks. Um, but uh, get this wrapped up that way tomorrow we can cut our opening and get our coal chute all bolted up and then uh, that way we can put the stang to use this week because I need it. Here we go. Ow. Ooh. Right down the nape of the neck. Good enough. All right. Call it a day there. Come back. Finish this thing up. And we're back. So, uh, where we left off, I got my chute, if you will, uh, all welded in. All those plates are good and solid. Now I got to start attaching the actual gate itself and cut myself an opening. Uh, I just held this in with uh, four bolts. We're gonna do the same thing on this. It already has the uh, holes already pre-drilled. What's going on here? Hello? What in tarnation? Oh, please don't let me pinch my finger. What the hell's going on? Right, okay, yeah, that's good. All right, so I'm just gonna line this up. I already got some, some uh, marks, reference marks for myself to kind of center this up. So, just gonna center this, make sure it's not too tight. And I'm just looking for one just to help me hold it in place. And that is going to be this one. So I'm just gonna mark. That's good. Now I can take this off. This thing is just so it's so floppy, it's so annoying. <laughs> uh, but once I get uh, sweating, why am I sweating? It's February. <laughs> uh, this is why, this is why the guys in the field just don't want to wear safety glasses. You ever been on a project that it's like zero tolerance, which I understand. I wear safety glasses all the time. However, every once in a while, shake hands with danger. I'm just another guy, you know? Which is exactly why I do that. Oh, da da da. All right, this should be good. We're gonna call it okay. I should probably get myself a little bit of oral to, you know, lubricate the bit here. Hang on a second. Now, nothing special here. It's not windshield washer fluid, I can promise you that. Uh, just a little bit of old engine oil. Anything to keep the bit from getting a little too hot. 
So just give yourself a, you know, a little dab will do ya. You don't want too much because you'll flang it around. Which I definitely put too much on there. Uh-huh. All right. I'm gonna throw that up there. Oh my God, this thing is so annoying. Try that on for size. I just dropped my nut down my shirt. That's cool. Got he! Uh-huh. Yeah, that'll work. I literally did just drop my nut down my shirt. Another pair of glasses. What else do I have in here? Did it go down my pants? No. What the hecky? Where did that thing go? Oh, there it is. Got it. Anyway, can I reach this? That'd be cool. I can't, I'm tiny, tiny human. That's okay, that's what they make ladders for. Okay, that gets us going there. And we can line up the rest. Get the picture now, this is what we're going for. Ta-da. Why do I have a gap here? Am I that bent? I think so. Sure am. This tailgate's just beat to shite. And the other thing that you could do here, if, again, if you want to be perfect, you could throw a level on here and you can, you know, actually, just for shits and giggles, throw my Johnson on there. And I'm like, you know, barely off. What do I need to go, up or down? down on this side. But that could also be the concrete driveway. It could be a multitude of things. How'd I do on this one? My original. Same thing. So yeah, we're gonna call that good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and mark my holes and we'll get drilling. Now I will say this does worry me just a little bit with how bent out this tailgate is. So I'm gonna mark myself a little reference point here. And I'm gonna give her a whack. With that being double plated, there's no way. Oh well, back to the drawing board. That's the way to popcorn pops. Back the drawing board. Okay, see you again. Let's just wang it. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try getting this left side in first. Reach. Mark. Mark. Yo, Marky, Marky, the funky butts. Get a little bit of Earl. Yeah. Okay, uh-huh, Earl, Earl, find me my spot. That is that, uh-huh, okay, you guys still watching? Cool, throw this guy in there, oh, hello around now. That guy in there. How are we? Oh, we're good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. That'll be just fine. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Drill, come here. Come hither. Come on now. Oh yeah. Okay. That's where I be. Perfect. 
Well, not perfect, but you know what I mean. Good enough. Good enough for me. Good enough for you? Good. My spot. Drill. Earl. What am I dropping? Something just fell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, now a clean workplace is a safe workplace, you know what I mean? Reach. Cool. Why didn't I just do that before? <laughs> so now all I'm trying to do is I'm just gonna mock this in place. And then I can mark where I want my slits to go for my opening. Let's throw these two in there. All right. Cool, I still gotta cut that. Now you'd think I'd bring a marker for this operation. Marker. Okay. Mark. Mark. Get a funky butt. And this should be the last time I have to take this stupid thing off while it's all floppy. <laughs> all right, I got all my marks. We're gonna cut our opening here. Basically just mirror this one as far as height. And uh, then we should be about good. I gotta grind this down here. Maybe I'll do that first just to get that out of the way. what they were hiding. A big old hole. I think I could have thought of a different thickness of steel to cover that hole up with. Now well, we got another project. Now make no mistake, I'm not gonna make this thing pretty, just like the rest of the truck. Uh, I'll just put a uh, thinner piece of plate over here. No one's a fan of overlapping welds, but this, I, I don't care about this patch here. Just gonna make it work, so. Okay, that's cut out. Let's see how we're fitting here. Why do I never bring? Ooh, nope. Oh boy. All right. Yeah. That'll be good. That'll be real good. Okay, so. Looks like up here. I should be able to fill that in with like a. I'm just thinking something thin. Just like a sheet metal, just to get it covered. Do I want to go overboard and actually cut it out? Dang it, I do. All right, this is exactly why I save these, you know, junk cutoff wheels, the ones that are really small, for tight areas like this. There, that'll be good. Hey, grab my little magnet. Oh, perfect. A little gappy, but I can fill that in. She'll do just fine. Okay, let's see what we can make happen here. Uh-oh. She'll weld. Well, that is rusty, rusty. I'm burning out. 
Ouch. That's why you wear welding gloves, which I have right behind me. Uh-huh. So what I'm trying to do here is, because this is obviously very thin, which is why it was patched, I'm trying to play with my voltage, setting it high versus low, wire speed high versus low, trying to, you know, jump around so I'm not sending too much heat in, because when you get too much heat, you, you blow out the, the thin metal, so. Trying to work myself around nice and easy. It's going okay, we'll get there. It's not great, but it's okay. My problem child. Cool. Uh, not the prettiest, but she'll do. All I need it to be is covered. So, I don't really care about that. How about that? Uh-huh, well that's that. Huh? There you go. That is what we call a hillbilly patch. Just gets the job done. You know what I mean? So with that, let's throw this gate on here. This thing's taking way too long at this point, but that's okay. At least get it, you know, close to being right, you know? One. One. A two. Oh no, I dropped my nut. Oh, almost fell off the ladder, that's okay. This is great, isn't it? Just you and me, having a good time. What's the verdict? Oh yeah, that's nice. What do we got here, half inch? There you have it. <sighs> this is a project that I just needed to get done. So I'll probably do a little bit of patching on the bed here. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll get this thing out of my driveway finally. So cool beans. Well, would you look at that? I personally have no use for putting one over here. I know it looks a little odd with two instead of three, uh, but the truth is with these grain gates on dump beds, uh, the more you have, uh, the weaker your tailgate is, uh, more susceptible to bending and such. So uh, I need the grain gates, I need the coal chutes, uh, I make good use of them, but I would have no use for this one. So I'm not gonna do that. Sorry for the aesthetics, but uh, this truck is purely for uh, use rather than aesthetically pleasing views. So I still have some cleanup to do and I gotta, you know, paint a little bit, but I'm not gonna do it now, it's too cold to paint. Uh, so for now, this'll do. Uh, definitely excited to have this thing on here. Next step with this truck is just a general service. Going to change the oil, filters, uh, fuel filter, and trans fluid. Uh, I'll probably mess around with the transmission a little bit because uh, it does leak. So we'll drain that, see if there's anything going on in there, and uh, put a new gasket on it. And then this truck will be out of my driveway, finally. So I'll throw this back in the yard. Then we can move on to projects that are a little more interesting. But, you know, I hope this helps somebody out there. I mean, there, there really aren't a lot of videos on, well, honestly, there are no videos on installing coal chutes on tailgates. So it's a relatively simple thing, but for somebody that hasn't done it before, I hope this is a, a good little guide. So with that, I will see you guys on the next one. I'll leave you here. If you are subscribed, I appreciate it. If you are not, it uh, really helps me out if you would subscribe, like the video, comment. Uh, obviously, with the size of the channel at the moment, I do get to see every comment and respond to you guys, so I really appreciate it when I do see it. So with that, don't be afraid to grab that wrench and get after it. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.